What is going on, everybody? We're going to be going over the top six special attackers you should build for a terror raid. So let's get into it. Starting off at number six is going to be Iron Moth. Iron Moth is going to be a very good special attacker and starting off very strong. He is a fire poison type with booster energy to go ahead and proc the first second you get into battle. So four moves are going to be Fiery Dance, Acid Spray, Sunny Day, and Morning Sun. You do set Sunny Day and then Morning Sun will let you heal a lot more than you typically would if there was no weather up at all. Acid Spray, since you are a special attacker, Acid Spray harshly lowers the defense stat of the Terror Raid Mon. Being able to do this, you can do massive amounts of damage on top of just doing damage. Fiery Dance, boost the user's special attack stat just by using it. So if you do have Acid Sprays going off and that booster energy procs whenever you come into battle, your Fiery Dance is gonna be insane with Sunny Day. It's a very good combo and I highly recommend giving it a try. Now for our spread, we're gonna be a 252 HP to make ourselves more bulky, 252 special attack, and then a four in our special defense. You can put that four in your physical defense if you'd like, if you wanna go a little bit more in your physical defense, it doesn't change much, but then you do have a modest mint applied and that's gonna raise your special attack and lower your physical attack so you are massimizing your damage. Let's put you at a 416 special attack, which is very, very big for something like this. And then Court Drive is your ability. Court Drive is going to be using that booster energy to proc your ability the second you come into battle. Highly recommend this build. You do massive amounts of damage, and you don't really think you would. Now, coming in at number five is going to be my boy Appleton. I love Appleton. He's a grass dragon, and he is going to be using that citrus berry. We have used him in a several seven-star raids to do whatever we want in solo. For our moves, we're gonna be using Apple Acid, which is gonna be lowering the special defense stat of the Terror Raid Mon. Recycle, once our health gets lower than half, we will eat our berry. Recycle will give us our berry back. Sunny Day is gonna be using Solar Beam as a one-turn move instead of a two-turn. The best setup for this, Acid Spray three times, get your Terror off. Sunny Day, Recycle, Solar Beam, you solar beam your heart away because honestly that is exactly how i've taken down two seven star terror raids by just soloing with appleton it is a great combination highly recommend this move set now for our spread we are a 252 hp 60 in defense and a 196 in our special attack that 196 puts us at a 287 in our special attack and we are using that bold nature to go ahead and give ourselves the plus defense lower attack the he becomes very bulky you can actually put that in special defense if you'd like the 60 or just keep it in defense that is up to you this set i have found to be very useful his ability is ripen ripen doubles the effects of berries that means you get more healing off and that means every time you recycle you get more healing from your berry and you get your berry back so it is very hard to knock you out and you can do whatever you want. I've You can carry raids with this. I love Appleton. That's why he's on my list for number five. Next up at number four is going to be Gold Dango. He is a steel ghost type, and we are going to be running that Shell Bell. For his moves, we're going to be running Steel Beam, Shadow Ball, Recover, and Nasty Plot. Highly recommend Nasty Plotting all the way up. That gives you a plus six special attack on a very heavy special attacker. Recover lets you heal up whatever you need to heal up. Then Shadow Ball... You can just do your stab bonus and then steel beam. It does do damage to you, but with shell bell, you heal up and it's a 140 base power. No drawbacks besides hurting yourself. Use steel beam with a plus six nasty plot. You heal 100% and you don't have to worry about the recoil damage. However, you want to look at it. Very, very strong Pokemon. And then that spread is going to be a 252 HP, a 4 in your defense, and a 252 in your special attack, which brings your special attack to a 401. A 401 with a plus 6 off a 140 special attack move with stab. You do massive amounts of damage and nothing wants to take it. And then we have our modest mint, which is going to be raising your special attack even further and lowering your attack stat. And then our ability is good as gold. It's a new ability and it is immune to status moves, which is always going to be a plus. And then coming in at number three is going to be Fluttermane. It's a ghost fairy type. It's going to be running a covert cloak so you can't get paralysis or anything like that. Covert cloak's a very good item for him. 
You can run other things. I highly recommend run, running Covert Cloak. For those moves, you're going to be looking at Shadow Ball, Calm Mind to raise your special defense and special attack, Draining Kiss to heal up, and then Fake Tears to go ahead and lower the target's special defense stat harshly. So, a lot of these guys build off doing more damage and lowering that special defense stat of the Terror Edmon. If you get a minus six, Shadow Ball or Draining Kiss, Draining Kiss, you're going to just heal forever. Shadow Ball, you're going to be doing lots of damage. So, very good play here by get, raising your attack stats and lowering defense stats. Now, for that spread, it's going to be a 252 HP, a four in your defense, and then 252 special attack with a modest mint to go ahead and raise your special attack even further and lower your attack stat. Protosynthesis is your only ability, and it would proc if you had a booster energy or were in the sun. That would raise your attack stat even further so you can do more damage. Highly recommend using Covert Cloak, though. Next up is the King of the Sea at number two, which is Kyogre. Kyogre is a water type using that Mystic Water to go ahead and do more damage with your water moves. Your moveset here is going to be Calm Mind to raise your special attack and your special defense. Hydro Pump can also be swapped out with Origin Pulse. And then Ice Beam as a coverage move and Rain Dance to give you more damage in the rain because you're water. You do more water move in a rain with Mystic Water plus Stab, <laughs> you're going to be knocking out everything. Now for that spread, that's going to be a 96 in HP, a 160 in our defense, and a 252 in our special attack, which brings it to a 438 in our special attack with a modest mint of special attack plus minus your attack stat. You're going to do lots of damage. Your rain dance there is only if your ability does go away because you do set it by entering battle with Drizzle. Now coming in at number one is Belly Bolt. He's pretty much a Terror Raid King and my new favorite frog type. And he is an electric type with an electric terror and we will run the clear amulet to go ahead and let us not get any stats lowered. You can run either magnet or big root to heal more on your moves. Now for those moves, it's going to be acid spray, chilling water, electric terrain, and parabolic charge. Acid spray, like we've seen on previous, it's going to be harshly lowering that special defense stat so you can do more damage. Chilling water will lower that Physical attack set of the Terra Raidmon. Electric Train is going to let you do more damage since you are an electric type. And Parabolic Charge is where I said you can run a Big Root. Big Root will let you heal more off of this because you are just going to hit everybody and heal up. On Electric Train, it is boosted. But very big play there. If you do lower the special defense stat of the Terra Raidmon and have Electric Terrain up, you're going to heal massive and you are just a tank. Now for that spread, it's going to be a 252 HP an 88 in defense, and a 168 in special attack. We're running a bold nature here to raise our defense stat even further and lower our attack stat. That lets us do massive amounts of damage. Now, Electromorphosis is going to be our ability, and it's going to be charged up every time you get hit. So you are very slow. You don't want to go faster. If they hit you first, your damage is pretty much doubled, plus electric terrain, plus if you're running a magnet, and you know, you're going to be doing lots of damage with the Parabolic Charge. And every time you hit with Parabolic Charge, you're going to heal. So you are not able to be knocked out. It's insane how much you can just tank and tank and tank and do whatever you want to pretty much any raid that doesn't, that doesn't resist you. Now, these are my top six special attackers. Tell me what you would change on this list because honestly, I love having the Appleton. And a Belly Bolt for me is top of the tier cannot go wrong with picking belly bolt in any raid circumstance let me know in the comment section down below what you would change up here and which one you're thinking about building and i'll catch you guys in the next one